Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network. Barack Obama, a couple of days ago, gets a question at a, at a joint press conference with Stephen Harper and uh, Felipe Calderon about the Supreme Court decision coming up on Obamacare. And what he says makes it sound like he doesn't understand the concept of judicial review which was established in a long-ago Supreme Court case called Marbury v. Madison, which the court appointed to itself the job, the right, of determining what and what isn't constitutional in terms of what comes out of Congress. And it's been that way for hundreds of years. Obama implicitly, he implied that he doesn't know that. And there have been a number of commentators reacting to Obama as though they really think he doesn't know what judicial review is. And I'm shocked that anybody thinks that Obama doesn't know what judicial review is. Yeah, he went to Harvard. Yeah, he's been educated and ill-informed by a whole bunch of leftists. But he knows what judicial review is. He knows the Supreme Court determines what's constitutional and not. And yet commentator after commentator after commentator explores that possibility when that's not at all what's going on here. Some of them are quite good, by the way. Here's one, uh, Tom Lambert, who is a professor of uh, of law at the University of Missouri-Columbia, the main campus. Imagine... If you picked up your morning paper to read, oh, no, no, I'm going to tell you what's going on here. I know exactly what Obama's doing. He is setting Republicans up for a giant kill, politically. I just When I finish explaining this, it's not going to take very long. You're going to have a total comprehension of what's going on here. And you're also probably going to end up concluding that there was a leak on that preliminary vote and that it did go against him. But we'll get there here in due course and in a semblance of order. Tom Lambert, University of Missouri, Columbia, Columbia, writing uh, at a blog called Truth on the Market, academic commentary on law, business, economics, and more. Imagine if you picked up your morning paper to read that one of your astronomy professors had publicly questioned whether the Earth, in fact, revolves around the sun, or suppose that one of your economics professors was quoted as saying that consumers would purchase more gasoline if the price would simply rise. Or maybe your Haskell math teacher was publicly insisting that 2 plus 2 equals 5. You'd be a little embarrassed, right? You'd worry that your colleagues and friends might begin to question your astronomical, economic, and mathematical literacy. Now, Now you know how I felt this morning. When I read in the Wall Street Journal of my own constitutional law professor, this guy was taught constitutional law by Obama. Now you know how I felt this morning when I read in the Wall Street Journal that my own constitutional law professor had stated that it would be an unprecedented, extraordinary step for the court to overturn a law that was passed by a strong majority of a democratically elected Congress. And he goes on to express his incredulity over this. Now, Obama did te- teach constitutional law, but I've looked into this. I found what he taught basically was the 14th Amendment, agitation, community organizer kind of stuff, social justice stuff, using the Constitution for that. He didn't get into it had one specific era. The 14th Amendment is what he focused on as a law professor. Okay, that's, that's uh, Tom Lambert. James Taranto. Wall Street Journal, best of the web today, the man who knew too little. We were half joking yesterday. We asked if Obama slept through his Harvard Law class on Marbury versus Madison, the 1803 case in which the court first asserted its power to strike down unconstitutional laws. Turns out it's no joke. The president is stunningly ignorant about constitutional law. The most interesting part of his answer was the beginning, in which he tried to walk back or at least clarify his statement from yesterday. Spoke slowly, long pauses, giving the sense he was speaking with great thought and precision. Well, first of all, to be very specific, uh, pause, we have not... goes on. And then Obama cited a case before the newspaper editors yesterday. He said, a law like that's not been overturned, pause, at least since Lochner, right? 
So we're going back to the 30s, pre-New Deal. And everybody's supposed to fawn. Oh, well, he knows cases. President knows Kate Lochner. Wow. What a smart guy. Wow. Well, uh, as Mr. Taranto uh, points out, Lochner was a case from 1905. 30 years before the New Deal. And the full name of the case is Lochner versus New York, meaning it wasn't a federal case. Obama cited a federal ca a state case, Lochner versus New York, in order to indicate that he knew what he was talking about when it comes to judi judicial review of Obamacare. The full name of the case, Lochner v. New York, should be sufficient tip-off in Lochner. The court invalidated a state labor regulation on the ground that it violated the liberty of contract, which the court held was an aspect of liberty protected by the 14th Amendment's due process clause. That's why he cited it, because he teaches the 14th Amendment, which is basically Obama taught race and grievance law. Race, gender, grievance law. That's what he taught. That's why he remembers Lochner. But Lochner is not a federal case. Lochner does not involve Obamacare and the Commerce Clause as he attempts to use it in Obamacare, because it hasn't happened before. Well, the Mr. Limbaugh, then maybe your argument is really wrong. This is Mr. Newcastrovi. Maybe Mr. Limbaugh, Obama really uh, is trying as hard as he can, but, but doesn't understand the, uh, the whole concept of uh, Marbury. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, you... You Obama people really want to try to tell the rest of us he's this stupid? Is that what we want? To, we want to go from the smartest, most sophisticated, most erudite, messianic political figure in our history in 2008 to he's stupid? Is that really what you want us to believe? I simply refuse to accept the notion that Obama doesn't know what he's talking about. I refuse to accept the notion that he doesn't understand judicial review, doesn't know what Marbury versus Madison is. I think he's doing something entirely different. He is appealing to the dumbest, the most uninformed, and what he's basically telling them is, this court is going to take away your health care that I've given you. That's what he said. And he is counting on the dumb and the stupid to believe that, to not read any of these law professors who are correct. He doesn't care 